Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to pick up this 3D sample here and uh, some of the steps that we would take to design the part. So uh, what you're going to see is we have this wireframe profile here and we need to generate a surface for this. So uh, what I'm going to do is create a new layer. I'm going to go to a top view. Uh, oops, kind of zoom in a little bit. And uh, there's a couple of different surfacing options you can use. In this case, I'm going to run a skin. So I'm going to click on this entity, shift click, click on this entity, shift click. And you can notice both of these um, selections, they're pointing outwards. And uh, it mirrors the selection order that we have over here. So now I need to zoom in and uh, grab this entity. And uh, I'm going to hold down shift at this point and uh, click past the midpoint of this line so we get that one there and then we just need to repeat the process for this one over here so from here to hold down shift left click to there right click OK and then now we have this surface here okay so uh, in, in this example there's actually uh, I, I need to rotate this around so I'm gonna just create a new layer make it active utilities rotate Z 90 copy 3 origin is enter I'll click on this shape right click OK I'll get a preview click OK right click so here this is actually the the shape that I want to cut out now what I want to do is I want to back up just a little bit and I'm gonna get to this uh, this section here so what I have is uh, uh, this is going to be my stock shape. I'm going to extrude this. So we'll do surface extrude curves. This is going to be 650. Select both these curves. And now I have my stock shape. So I have my stock shape that I'm starting with. I have uh, the surfaces that I want to cut. And uh, from here, what I'm going to do is uh, get into the cam tree. And I'm going to run the stock wizard. I'm going to choose a solid model stock. I'm going to pick the stock body here. Next, machine setup, I'm going to just uh, set the origin on top center and I'll choose OK. Uh, from here, I can turn my stock off. You can see a preview of the stock. I'm going to turn my surfaces back on. Let me uh, just ghost out the stock a little bit. OK, so now, um, now I need to, to rough this shape out. So I'm going to load a three axis routine. This is going to be advanced rough. I'm going to select all of my geometry. I'm going to, this is zero. I'm going to set my tool. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use uh, a ball mill. Set our step down, step over, set our stock for finish, set our tolerance for cutting. And uh, there we go. We'll go ahead and compute this. And this will go ahead and generate a, a roughing routine to rough out these surfaces here. Now the tool size that you're using and the depth of cut and, and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, that's going to be up to you as far as what you want to use there. Uh, the next thing that I want to look at is finishing this shape. Uh, I think there's... Uh, you know, a couple of different ways that you're gonna, you could finish this, or you may consider uh, finishing the shape with. I'm gonna just do a spiral routine. So I'm gonna do three axis. Uh, I'm gonna do spiral next. Select geometry. I'm gonna select all my surfaces here. Next, this is zero. I'm gonna use the same ball mill. I'm gonna say. Uh, start from the inside, that's fine. Uh, step over, we'll set our step over. I'm going to just make this uh, 8 and 8. Uh, drop down my tolerance. Okay, all of that looks good. So then, uh, from here, I'm going to select my boundary of this curve and this curve. And then I'll go ahead and compute that one right there. And that gives me my spiral routine. Uh, you know, another option that you have here as well, if, if you're doing the spiral, you should be able to do a step down if you wanted to uh, rough it. You can use that as a roughing routine as well. 
Uh, that that's an option for you as far as roughing the shape out. I mean, there's lots of lots of different options. So we did an advanced rough in one example. We did a a spiral. Um, you know, in, in another example, we could do on uh, equidistant as well. So you just kind of have to work through each of the different strategies and figure out which one you like best. Uh, from here, um, yeah, might as well just load up a simulation. Let's kind of take a look at uh, what the part will look like. Let me turn that off, turn this down. See our roughing routine and then our finishing routine. Oh, there we go. And we'll leave it on that.